Okay, um, so welcome to another section of this uh, MySQL replication course. Um, today, uh, in this section, we are going to uh, set up our replication. Uh, it's going to be a master and a slave. And the version I'm going to use is 8.0.23, uh, 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 which is powered by Percona, and it's called a Percona server. Uh, and so, why I'm using this? Because uh, uh, this is the because it's, it's totally built on the uh, mysql uh, source code and it's uh, not a fork uh, so it's totally similar uh, to that mysql version um, by oracle and but it has uh, some a lot of uh, uh, extra feature they have added like uh, we have uh, we can have audit uh, which is free in Bergona, but it's not uh, in MySQL by Oracle, and we pro it just provides uh, uh, extra backup, and which can take the physical backup and incremental backup as well, full backup and incremental backup. But uh, in case of uh, MySQL from Oracle, you have to purchase an enterprise version. So that is why I, uh, mostly I work on Percona servers. But yes, uh, later on I will show you uh, how we can take the how we can use the mul multiple ways of taking the backup backups uh, to restore or uh, to create a replica replica uh, like uh, how we can use the extra backup how we can use uh, uh, different other tools like my dumper uh, or uh, yes um, uh, mysql enterprise backup as well so for that uh, i will also I, uh, I will try to use uh, the mysql version by oracle uh, and i will show you that how you can take use those technologies for taking the backup as well so for this one i'm going to use the mysql dump uh, which is uh, widely used uh, by people uh, so that's why i'm going to start from this one so what are the steps uh, for setting up a replication so first we need to enable the binary logs on the master okay uh, it's not necessary for the slave uh, because if you don't want to take the backup from the slave so if you want to take the backup from the slave you have to enable the binary log because uh, obviously for point in time recoveries and all that and or is the oracle use the binary log uh, to take the backup so there are a lot of things okay so and then uh, we uh, are going to set up the uh, server id to each of the server and restart the servers and one more thing the server id should not be zero because if it's zero then it means that it's not going to uh, like connect to anything so uh, that's the thing uh, you want to know so it should not be uh, zero it should be greater than zero because the master will, server will reject any connection from the slave server so it should be one uh, we will take our mysql server one as one id and the sub for server two now we're going to have our server id is a two so we can have any other uh, values like but it should be greater than zero okay and so we need to enable the binary logging and then we need to enable the server id so that's the minimum requirements we need to have uh, for our mysql uh, replication and then we need uh, like on the server settings level then we need a user uh, on the master server uh, to which our slave will connect and it's going to ask for the binary logs so that's we need a user and then we have to take the backup from the master server along with the binary log positions so we know that till which position we have taken the backup so from that position onward we can start our replication and then we have we have to like obviously we need to for initialization the replica we need to restore the backup and then we will uh, start our replication based on the position and uh, binary log file uh, have we have inside the backup we will get that and we will set up our replication and after once the uh, slave is configured we are going to start our replication so uh, let's get into the practical work okay so uh, now i have uh, my two servers which i have is the mysql1 and the mysql2 so and these are the host name of the mysql1 and mysql2 and then uh, okay so what are the basic requirements here uh, is that the first of all uh, both of the servers should be uh, able to connect to each other so to avoid any connectivity issues what i have done is that uh, I, like i don't have the firewall on so and i don't have set any ip tables restrictions so my servers both are uh, able to connect each other and i have set my uh, host files and all that so that is why it's good uh, so everything is clear 
so that's what you need for on the basic levels and then uh, i need to check if i have a uh, uh, service utility which is called netcat and uh, let me see if that is available so netcat is not here so let us install uh, nc iscat uh, netcat because i'm going to use uh, this to uh, transfer my backup files to the replica server so that is why i need the netcat uh, netcat sorry so once that is done uh, it will be done in the few minutes but let's uh, do it on the other server as well so yum install uh, netcat and let uh, just to let you know guys that i have already installed my sequels uh, my sequel on both sides so uh, i don't need to uh, i'm not going to do share or uh, do any installation here for my sequel uh, in this uh, session so if you want to so let's uh, press yes uh, let's check this one as well okay so let's if you don't guys don't know how to install the installation uh, you can visit my youtube channel as well uh, there you can check or if you want another tutorial on how to administer mysql as well so i can come up with that and put a request in the comment section so yeah that will be done okay so now as we are uh, good to go with the uh, like the prereqs then let's uh, see that if our binary logs are enabled or not so in order to check that as as far as i know and as for uh, the mysql version uh, we are using uh, in this case uh, it is enabled by default to check that uh, let me clear the screen system clear okay sorry uh, system clear oh ho i guess uh, something wrong with my keyboard <laughs> sorry uh select at mysql uh sorry uh, that's it is uh, select at that uh, log dash pin so you can check from there uh sorry yeah okay show variables like okay log okay so we have our binary log enabled and to check that uh we have log bin where is the log bin yeah here it is it's underscore it's not dash so that's why we okay so actually uh sometimes it's okay so if you see here it's already enabled and if you want to know where is my uh location so here is the okay so that's the base name okay so it's going to be like bin log or it should be available inside your volume my sql and okay so that's enough for us and how is it uh, going to store my binary log file format so log bin okay this should be here binary log format yeah binary log and just let me see where it is space binary log file format yeah bin log format is its row oh sorry that's a, i mean this will be storing the so this one is uh, storing our binary log into uh, a row format and there is one more thing i wanted to know uh, where it is one of all size uh, this is a different thing uh, files group uh, okay so it's not here binary log file format yeah log output so this is file so in case you want to have uh, your log file stored in a table so you are going to change this to a table so all the binary log logging will be done inside your tables not into a file which is this one okay so let's continue we have this one and uh, what next thing we need to check is that uh, what is our server id so select at at server 
uh, it should be like this I guess obviously okay server ID so yes it's one and we don't need to change this one but uh, uh, let's see these two second settings on our other server as well so select uh, log in uh, let's log into my SQL system clear and check what is the setting here okay so it's already enabled and we need to check our uh, server ID as well here okay so is this two so let's uh, set this one uh, vi slash etc uh, okay slash uh, my dot cnf okay and let me select check this one and let's change this escape i control v okay uh, equal to two so that's it and let's restart our server system ctl restart mysql t okay it's done it's, it has nothing so that's why it's so quite good so now it's two so that's it uh, the settings and be done till now and uh, next what we need to do here is that we need to uh, create a user so that user uh, can be used to get the binary log files uh, from the master and save them to the uh, relay logs on the slave. 